Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. YouTube here with you this evening to take a look at a uh, item I bought some time ago. Um, it's one of the items that's going to go on my new shelves there. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright, this is the uh, fluke meter that I bought at uh, off eBay. Um, 8010A, couldn't remember the number of it. It's got a couple of uh, switches here that uh, don't function exactly right. I thought I would go ahead and take a look at it and overall and see what kind of shape it's in. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Taking a look at that a little bit there. Very clean inside. Now this is actually the first fluke meter I've owned. So... Kind of uh, nice, nice to work, start with, I think. Uh, looking like uh, to take the access off to the switches, this one here will have to come off, I think. I don't know if there are... I'm trying to see if there's anything up front that holds that on, but I don't see anything. Yeah, I can see all the switches in there. You probably can too, if you look just right. So... Like I say, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at this. I'm hoping just some deoxid and uh, cleaning of some kind will make these things perform like they should. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me turn it back over again. Now the uh, on-off, or ACDC I should say, doesn't function correctly. Uh, let's see if I can get this on camera. So I push it in, it doesn't stay, it just pops right back out. Now these seem to function okay. That one, that one, okay. Uh, I don't know if that one's supposed to be a lockdown. I don't know. I guess it is. Uh, that one functions. That one functions. That one functions. That one doesn't. It doesn't go in far enough to lock. Now that one does. So I have basically this one and this one, I think. Two that uh, don't work correct. So... I can't tell if that's actually working or not, but it should stay in according to uh, what it says on the, uh, what it says right there. It should stay in for AC and out for DC, but it doesn't do that. So, and again, this one, this one here, this one here will, will release the other button, like that releases that, but it doesn't stay in then. So I've got two that's uh, causing some problems. And I will have to take a look at those. So let me take this apart and I'll get right back with you. Okay, now we can see. Here are the switches. Uh, let's see, now this one functions. This one doesn't. This is the one right here that doesn't function. And it's looking like that's going to be difficult to get any cleaner in unless I go in this end maybe. That one doesn't function and this one this end doesn't function either so hmm I hate to have to take those apart to check them but uh, it's kind of looking like I may have to no no not a lot of uh, wiggle room there as far as getting in the other I'm trying to see how these possibly work See the uh, switch action there. Let's see what the second one looks like. Oh, this has got a plate on that. All right. All right. So, like I say, unless I can actually get something off of here. 
and get in there. Let's see if I can get a little light in the subject and see if I can see what's... Oh, yeah, those are solid switches. Nothing going to get in there, I don't think. Well, I do see that coming through there. Now, this would be the one that doesn't work. Right next to it. So... Hmm. I don't see any problems with the springs. The springs look okay. Uh... So, I'm not sure exactly. I may have to look this up online and see if there's a, a, a way that uh, these are cleaned or whatever needs to be done to them. Uh, I'm sure it's a cleaning of some sort uh, because it's just not getting down to lock into place or whatever. So, I don't know if these are even available anymore or not. So It's hard to say. Anywho, uh, I just wanted to uh, take that apart and look at it and see what I could see. Don't see a lot, to tell you the truth. And I'm wondering if those are all one one piece as far as you know, that, that metal piece on the end there. This piece here goes all the way across. So I'm thinking all would have to come out or none if, as, as far as that goes. So... Uh, I'll look online and see if I can find anything about uh, good ways to uh, clean these or fix them in general. Because I, I think that's really the only problem was, I think, uh, you know, unless there's another problem. I can't tell what it is because of the uh, switch is not working. So, uh, maybe it's just a, a matter of spraying cleaner in there. But like I said, I don't know where you're going to spray it at to get it in there. Um, unless you just sort of spray it down this way and hope it gets where it's got to go. Uh, that's the only thing I'm seeing right now um, that even could remotely work is uh, doing it that way. So I uh, don't really, yeah, there is a hole on the end there. As you can see right there. So obviously you can get something in there. I don't know if it's going to be enough. So you can see that one. On it there. So, like I said, it probably does go through there like that, and uh, may just try that and see what happens. I mean, I don't know how else to do it. If I hold it up like this to where that has to run down in there, I might be able to get lucky with it. Let's see if I can turn it this way a little bit and get some light on it a little bit. Like I said, this is the one in question right here. Or maybe it's this one. I can't remember. I, I lose track. I better better be sure. It's not that one. It's the next one next to it. The, the last long one right there. This one right here. So I'm going to spray some deoxy down here and just see what that does. I guess I could wait and try to get some information on it. But you know me. I like to get in there and do something. Even if it's wrong. Let's try working a little bit and see what happens. It's still not working. You know, the deox, it definitely didn't do anything for it. So. Must be a must be another problem to it. So I don't know if I'd try that one or not. I don't think it'll hurt anything, so I'll go ahead and try that one too. Make sure I get plenty in there. It's not doing anything. So, I'll have to go online and see what I can find out about it. Definitely, it's not very usable like it is. 
so that's what I, all I can do for now. I'm going to set that off the side, let it drain all the, uh, all the deoxid out of it. I'm not going to put that up yet. I'm going to keep that out in case I need it for anything else. And uh, see about how to get these get this apart. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to take the uh, bottom plate off and unsolder all those connections. Pretty darn sure. There is uh, two screws back here. I don't know if that's the only two or not. I guess I'll check it out. Um, I'm not doing anything else. Oh, yeah. There we go. Here's how you get them out. So, it would be uh, this one. I do believe. Yep. Only end works. So, this row right here. Not exactly a short, a uh, little bit of a what do you call it there? It's quite a few to deal with. And the one here, it's the same way. It's a long one. Or actually, this one here. That one there. And the one on the other end. So, right there. Ah, uh, boy, I hope I don't have to unsolder all those. I'm not receiving any uh, quick fix for this, though. So. so, I'd like to get this fixed and get it up on the bench. That's one of the reasons I built the shelves for. So, I don't know if I showed you that, but uh, I did, uh, I did uh, add uh, a piece of test clip there just to see what it looked like. Let's see it there, it's just a heat kit signal tracer right there. I doubt that it'll stay there, but just want to see what it looked like. I had the uh, fluke up here. Of course, I still got the scope there. Uh, I've got some other stuff to use, too, put up there, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this here because uh, really nothing else I can do to this until I get those switches out. I'm just hoping that that's all it takes is uh, getting these unsoldered because, to tell you the truth, it doesn't look like uh, they're going to come out very easy. I mean, uh, for one thing, they got metal binding things on each end, which may or may not uh, have to be removed some way. They look like they're all one piece. So, we'll have to see what happens. That's about all I know for now. You guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. See ya.